known many people who lost their lives to cancer. At this moment of talking to you, so many people are being diagnosed with cancer, so many are losing their battles and yet so many winning a new lease of life after long struggle. So what do I have for you today? Good news. That can potentially be the best news of the century. Hi, my name is Linda Ashok and you are watching Mastermind. Before I proceed guys, I want you to know these four things. Number one, subscribe to the channel and tell me what kind of videos within my practice area you would like to learn or discuss. Number two, understand that I keep facts and feelings separate for scientific priority. Number three, I welcome disagreements but do so respectfully so I can engage. And number four, watch the video till the end even at 1.5x so that you don't miss the context. Cancer, as you might know, is not only an insurmountable amount of physical pain. It is also unbearable psychological agony. Those who have suffered cancer know the best. Those who have been the caregivers of these people with cancer and cancer survivors know the pain. It has dissolved many families, ruined relationships and erased lives like one mistaken scratch of life. But today, you have a reason to feel positive. And here is the news. So it starts from an earlier declared undrawable proliferating cell nuclear antigen, which is called PCNA, that plays an essential role in nucleic acid metabolism as a component of the replication and repair machinery. Researchers at the City of Hope have developed an innovative pill called AOH1996 that targets the cancer variant of the PCNA gene, which is now considered a viable target for personalized cancer treatment. In preclinical research, AOH1996 effectively treated various cancers, including breast, prostate, brain, ovarian, cervical, skin, and lung cancers. You know, AOH1996 selectively kills cancer cells by disrupting their normal reproductive cycle, offering a targeted chemotherapy approach without causing toxic side effects as observed in cell and animal models. Now the drug is underway in phase one clinical trial on humans. But why is this cancer drug named AOH1996? Well, this is because it is named after Anna Olivia Healy, a cancer patient from Indiana, US, who was born in 1996 but lost their life to a rare form of cancer, neuroblastoma, that claims up to 600 lives in the US every year. Professor in the Department of Molecular Diagnostics and Experimental Therapeutics at Beckman Research Institute of City of Hope, Linda Munkus knew she had to do something for Anna. We have, even in the last five years, new technologies that have come on board that we couldn't have dreamed of 10 years ago that allow us to pinpoint down and refine now molecular interactions in cancer that we could never have seen before. And that resulted in this drug after two decades of research and funding from Anna's father and the ANNA charity fund that raised $400,000 for neuroblastoma research in children since 2002. Now tell me, what are you thinking about this? You know, I have always prayed that Jesus, we will die someday, we will wither. Mm -hmm. Do we need cancer for that or any destructive diseases? My heart fills up now. If you are experiencing a minor relief from your anxieties around health, affected by the possibility of cancer or its attack, hold on to this moment of positive medical news. Let's pray for our scientists to make the AOH 1996 cancer drug a reality. 
soon without any bureaucratic roadblocks as we experienced during the time of COVID vaccination. Now, if you found this video informative, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments. Until next